Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob, and I have once again Bianca. Who? Me? Yes, you. We already did this joke. I and, know. <laughs> and we are we are coming to the the finale of the first trilogy of graphic novels that Jim Starlin had done. Um, it was Thanos: The Infinity Finale, as we see how what the final resolution of everything with Thanos, Adam Warlock. And what was going on behind it all. Now, one thing I should point out that happened here that is also cleans up is at, during the events of Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars and leading up to it, the Living Tribunal has been killed off by a bunch of rogue Beyonders, a whole species of Beyonders. And then Jim Stone is actually going to resolve it here of what, of what to do with the Living Tribunal. So the Living Tribunal is dead. Aww. One second. So, and so, yeah. Well, first of all, what do you think about the cover? Oh, it's obviously a reference to the older one, but being up, but I like it. Yep. Uh, Starlin still did the cover here, but the artwork here will be Ron Lim, who did the second half of Infinity Gauntlet and has drawn, he's probably one of the best people to handle Thanos besides Starlin himself. So let's <laughs> let's dive on in, shall we? Oh, an intro from Warren Ellis. Good, yeah, too much I'm, I'm hearing voices in the background. You're in, by the way. <laughs> it's a, don't it, be sure to unpause if you're going to say anything. All right, or unmute yourself if you're going to say anything. All right. Bianca, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we open up with Thanos being reborn by who? Lady Death. That's why he killed himself, because he knew Lady Death would restore him. My love, Such a simp. I, I thank you for your vigilance and the opportunity you give me to gain vengeance for the indignity I've suffered at Nihilus's hand. Only through death could I escape the teleportation limbo in which he imprisoned me, for I knew that restoration at your loving hand awaited. This universe has no inkling as to the significance of our recent reunion. The time has come for revelations most unsettling. As he explains it all to him, but how long has he been gone? Three months! Mm. And unfortunately, things have gotten worse. Of course, I would follow you anywhere. To the infinity pool. Yes, here answers are always to be found. Excuse me, you wish me to do what? You wish me to step into the pool itself? Yes. I sense your intent and reasoning. Time most certainly must be a cr critical factor for our, for our consideration. This message will most quickly update me on Nihilus's progress during my absence. Let there be enlightenment. As he goes through and sees how, yeah, the Celestials, Galactus, the Shi'ar, all dead. The moon has been shattered. And when he sees her, he sees, um, for a, bit, for a moment, he sees the Hulk and he knocks him down. Certainly the dim-witted Hulk could not be counted among that number. Fortunately, it is not he who possesses the talent I require, but two present do. One I have bad history with, and the other, he might prove manageable. As it turns out, it transported him there as he sees them all. Hear me, gathered survivors. I come as a potential ally, not an adversary. Words easily spoken, Titan, but, and, but past deeds cause one to question their sincerity. Why does a dog have a mustache? That's Lockjaw. He has a mustache? He always had a mustache. What? Especially considering you served the evil Nihilus in the past. Please. Circumstances once required, I worked with the Bug King for a short spell, Sore. And during that time, I engineered his eventual defeat and humiliation. Trust me that my only desire currently is his complete and utter destruction. This I can accomplish with your assistance. Meanwhile, we see Pip has still been wandering around in the negative zone, all the while trying to find where Adam is. Not, 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 and that's not a bad pad he set up for himself. All the while, we see Mephisto is still keeping an eye on Adam, uh, but of course still under the, the guise of Baltar, of course. Lord Anaris requests your presence. Don't you mean the old tyrant b briskly demands I get my tail end upstairs immediately? I was trying to be a little diplomatic. Don't bother. 
Baltar, I still encounter troubling resistance. My forces are har harassed by guerrilla assaults. I am n near to pinpointing the hideaway of these enemy forces, sire. And once located, our remaining adversaries will be quickly and efficiently dispatched. Then hasten your search, good doctor. Your lord Annihilus, the rightful ruler of all there is, grows impatient. I tire of the seemingly endless campaign to tame the Pazivers. Let it all come to an end. And meanwhile, then Thanos is talking to them. I propose, like, you, uh, from what I have observed, you survivors have been focused on holding Annihilus to ground gained on an unsustainable course of action. I propose taking the battle directly to the Bug King. His elimination is our only hope for survival. Because that worked so well for us guardians last time, that plan failed only because Ad and Warlock did not adjust to his newly acquired might quickly enough. The end game remains the same. Either Nihilus dies, or all life within the Pazaverse will be extinguished. Whether he realizes it or not, Nihilus' end goal is universal genocide. We must... Look, even Loki's there! We must gain entry onto his throne world and slay the tyrant. And just how do you suggest we accomplish this seemingly impossible objective? By utilizing an asset readily available, Loki. Brag and Braggart, if victory was so easily achieved, don't you think Doom would have already claimed it? It is that damnable protective nimbus surrounding Annihilus' planet. It blocks any teleportation onto the planet. And Annihilus' as considerable military forces deny us a more traditional approach. Lockjaw and I have tried everything to breach the barrier around that accursed planet. And you will continue to fail without my assistance, Nightcrawler. Your teleportation power can be augmented to pierce the shield, protecting the Bug King's world. But the maneuver will prove extremely costly to whatever teleporter attempts to all-or-nothing gambit. Costly in what way? The ultimate way, Colossus. One among you can save the universe, but will never witness that victory. Meaning what? This maneuver will cause higher procedure that will destroy uh, and the psyche of whichever transporter volunteers to participate in it. Hold on. Thank you. I, you will note I did not say volunteer. I didn't say volunteers. The operation is so intricate and delicate that it cannot succeed without the teleporter's full agreement and cooperation. Consent is essential. Someone else already pay always pays your fright, don't they, Titan? Success as in this ploy is virtually guaranteed, Captain Marvel. But a self-sacrifice which I cannot commit to is an essential, uh, an essential ingredient in this mix. Excellent. There has to be another way. There is not. Are either of you prepared to pay the steep price the salvation of your universe demands? And, and yep, as we see, Pip is still continuing to do his usual stuff. As, seeming, as unseemly as it may seem to press you on the ma matter, a decision must be made now. They soon talk about it, and eventually Nightcrawler volunteers. I thank you, Kurt Wagner. Your humanoid physicality will help ensure a more successful outcome to this endeavor. One sec. Um, so yeah, they eventually decided to work and you know, do this all while of course, Baltar is still figuring out. They figured out where they are. They've taken refuge between the surface of Earth's moon. Then Blastar, prepare an overwhelming assault force. I want the rebels slain to the last man and woman. As you command, sire. So basically, everything's starting to come to a head. And unfortunately now, Kurt is dead. Brain dead, anyway. No, Kurt! No! No, no. Kurt Wagner's head, it, it has been submerged. But his consciousness remains intact. It is required so that Nightcrawler may respond to directives I shall be transmitting. You make him sound like an inanimate device. In many ways, I've reduced him to just that. Your friend has become the, univer the instrument of universal salvation. There's no way to return him to what he was afterwards. Abandon that hope. The man oh, you mother crappers. The damage I've already inflicted upon his brain is too extensive for there to be any chance of him surviving the experience. What is this? Basically, they're all under attack now. So they all head up there to fight. 
All the while, they buy him time while he prepares for the teleportation device. Big action. Ron Lim is great with this. Ooh, I love Venom. Venom, um, Gladiator, Captain Universe. Who's the one on the bottom? That's Captain Universe. That girl? Yeah. Captain oh. Universe can go to different people. Oh, you know, Spider Man had the powers once. Oh, the cosmic force of uh, Hyperion, Loki, Captain Marvel, Terra. The heck, she, she, we just saw her like two panels earlier, and she didn't have a helmet on. Can she magically like? Oh yeah, yeah, it can it can attach onto it. Oh, there was oh, Nova okay. getting killed, Doctor Doom and Drax, and oh go there goes Venom. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought Venom would have a healing. He never did. But yeah, they soon realize exactly what San Santos is doing. And so they blast him. And no, it cannot be. Blind ego, thy name is Santos. I was so certain I had it all worked out. Once again, the Mad Titan's devious ways and keen intellect were going to snatch victory from the jaws of utter defeat. It has always been so. But there lies the universe's last hope, broken and dismembered. There is not enough time to switch the plan over to utilizing jo Lockjaw, the other teleporter. We have finally run out of viable options, Titan. The time has come to begin accepting the inevitability. Not all battles are won. But if Sandals of Titan is destined to come to an end, he shall not be turning his mortal coil alone. Mistress Death, look upon with favor upon this Titan's final love offering. We stand with you, Titan, until thy very end. Kurt. Yep, and there go there goes Gladiator. It was a good death, Fred Gladiator. Let us match and surpass this valiant sacrifice as guardian. Death until the end. There, everyone is getting slaughtered, taken out one by one, until eventually it's just Thor and Thor and Thanos. I never imagined I would face Armageddon with you at my side, Titan. End times make strange bedfellows of us all, Thunder God. Low as I am to admit it, I am proud. That my final moment shall be shared with a br so brave a warrior. Songs will be sung of this. Damn! Go forth to your final reward as guardian, knowing you did fight the good fight. Sanos, on the other hand, has no Vela at Valhalla or any other promising afterlife awaiting. This time, Mistress Death, Paramore's uh, end shall be absolute. This I do accept. All the while, then, um, Pip starts his moment and he breaks in there, tries to get to, um, Adam, I have been here before. I almost thought it might all have been a dream. It is truly recollection into a Morpheus-induced illusion. Oh, hold on a sec. On. But yeah, basically then um, he's trying to wake him up. And once he does, after Pip does, after smacking him around, and Sano sees the other version of himself, as soon as he wakes up, he does exactly what he was told, and he wipes everything out. We just lost power. How? Warlock? Oh, no. No! All is finite. How many times have I witnessed the universe's end? As, as many times as I, I have watched it be reborn. But this time... I sense it would be dreadfully different. There is no grand metamorphosis or subtle alteration in the works this go around. No, this ends to be not but conclusion and termination. There will be no restoration or revival, no lesson learned or enlightenment gained. Nothing will be gained, everything lost, and that loss will be infinite. Nothing and no one will escape the abyss. The nihilists within me couldn't be couldn't, should be celebrating this moment. Or have I not always sought the cold comfort of the void? Deep in my black heart, is this not what I've always craved? No, for this goes far beyond my darkest and most twisted yearnings. This be the total obliteration of all there ever is, ever was, or will be. And they are all gone. Everything is gone. Bruh, so they didn't prevent the death. By the stars, what have I done? You just woke up, bro. <laughs> I killed everyone. 
And then he brings Thanos back. Thanos! This is uh, this I most definitely am not expecting. I thought it was all at, la at last truly done. Finish. That there would be finally be peace of sorts. I take it this is your doing. It's kind of a reversal of the end. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it was an accident. I have no desire to put an end to all there was. Foolish warlock. We all have that unspeakable longing buried deep within our secrets of hearts. Uh, for few, but I have ever acknowledged that prohibited yearning. What should I do? Bring it back. You have the power. No, and true desire for oblivion and no true desire for oblivion. Restore the universe to what it was. How? You summoned me from the abyss. Call back all of else to where it belongs. Reach out and pull it all together, or Nihilus wins. Do it now. Yes, immediately. I I cannot find it. The universe is gone. It is, its atomic structure has dispersed so thoroughly that it cannot be reconstituted. A pity. A pity? Santos of the master under of the, the master of understatement. I have broken all there is and cannot fix it. And it only merits a pity. Sarcasm will gain us not. And our situation is not hopeless. Merely awkward. There's still a chance to set things right? Yes. But it involves bargaining with one whom I've always sought to avoid. Who? Eternity? Infinity? They're both lost. As is the living tribunal who stood above them in the cosmic hierarchy. But the tribunal had a master. This being's nature is such that I have always loathed the very idea of making any kind of contact or communication with it. But now everything has changed. Our peril is so dire, my personal discomfort cannot be a consideration. Is there anything I can do to help? Most definitely. Gaining an audience with this being is beyond my power, but not yours. How can I, within you lies the essence of the living tribunal of your reality. It was never slain by beyonders as was my actuality's living tribunal. Which may, which may well have been a secondary factor in this dimension's demise. My actuality tribunal was most likely an essential cosmic element to this reality stability. Like your tribunal, it served this being who may well be our last hope. You should be able to make contact with this creature. How? By surrendering yourself to my guidance. Though not a believer, I am well versed in this being's lore. It is known as above all others. Then guide me to the Savior. Er, that we must begin and, and again be in physical contact, and you must thoroughly relax. Now close your eyes and trust me, Adam Warlock. I will guide, guide you in carrying us to possible salvation. Allow yourself to be carried uh, uh, and to be care and carried away to the metaphysical. A state I am quite comfortable in. We are being drawn. I am draw I'm drawn to the source of all there is, was, and ever will be. I, um, I, yes, I feel it's Paul. Surrender completely to the sensation. Some and some see it as such. My uh, epiphany, as he makes his way there, and there he is, Adam Warlock and Thanos and Titan. I have ex been expecting you. State your case and let this affair conclude. That doesn't sound very promising. Remain silent and allow me to do the negotiating. Why should I aid you, Adam Morlock? You seek remedy to an ill of your own making. Above all others, it's both male and female. So our senses perceive it for a moment to moment. Annoying, is it not? No, truly wondrous. It is in truth all things and knows all. As you yourself per impartially perceived during your brief experience with omni-reality perception, Titan, which allowed me a fragmentary glimpse of your power, perception and motivation, Grand One, but it was enough. Above all others, I have a proposition for you. Why would I bargain with the likes of you, Titan? Come now, you have a long history of striking deals with both mortals and immortals, and besides, above all others, I know you value the unique. By your decree, from the dawn of time, every decision made by a sentient being has created a divergent past the reality in the reality stream. It amuses you to see that possibility can be generated in this fashion. By choosing whether or not to touch my nose, I have just created an alternate reality. Have I not? Correct. Infinite realities. Endless actualities is a concept even my mind cannot fully grasp. Now for the gambit. But I am quite comfortable with I cannot talk this creature into anything it does not already desire. Whether it survives or perishes, each reality is unique, is it not? Yes. I can only suggest 
that which is already secretly wished for. I offer you the opportunity to create and save your reality you have never experienced before experienced. How would reconstituting your actuality gain me this? Its determination is already made. No need to play coy, master of all. You know the answer to that question. I do, as I know all things. We were going through the motions of a negotiation that was resolved before it ever began. Then the decision is yours alone to make, but only if your companion fully agrees to the term of this arrangement. Of course, would you be so kind as to brief him on the details? Warlock, what say you to this deal? I, I, I agree to your arrangement. I am responsible for all that has occurred. I can do no less. Then we have a deal? Yes, this variation will certainly prove a curiosity well worth observing. You would be wise to tie off certain loose ends before finalization sets in. Of course, I will guide, guide and advise Adam Warlock in these matters. So be it. And everything, and no gambles without risk. Even with my reality obliterated, dealing with above all others had, was most definitely been a perilous proposition. Though physically, I had nothing more to lose. But my life, I fear exposing the more abstract aspects of my existence to one such as above all others. Never again. I came out ahead this round. A universe awaits rebirth. Next time it might be my core self above all others chooses to tinker with. What would I do if I were and were to suddenly find myself known as Thanos the extremely reasonable to deal with, Titan? Anything is possible. Entire actualities die and are reborn. This day we have molded the clay that is reality. Tomorrow what wonders await? The joys and horrors of anything being possible. Back in the negative, though, we pick up right at the start of the last graphic novel, but then it's interrupted as Thanos and Adam Warlock show off, revealing Baltar as um, Mephisto. Nothing is lost. My reign of unmatchable terror has yet to truly begin. To my side, my minions, let Thanos of Titus and his nameless companion be the first to fall to Annihilus' latest and most deadly annihilation wave. Warlock. Please allow me to handle this particular situation. And he brings in an army of Legion of the Dead to fight him off. But here, no one will be engulfed by Annihilation Wave this day. So dies the Bug King's dream of glory and massacre. Each and every one of my insect warriors annihilated. This cannot be. I thank you for your service, my Legion of the Departed. Craziness and nightmare. Your work here is done. Return now to your mistress' dark domain. Inform my love that I shall be again by her, at her side. Even without an army, Annihilus is now power personified. I will tear you to shreds with my bare hands. He has not fully grasped this situation, has he? Enlightenment will soon dawn. Titan, I command, commend you on your selection of a time frame for our return. I am well aware of the value of you put on life. At the mo this moment, Anaris has yet to strike out on the positive verse. No lives will be lost. Only a boss on Troll and Emerald Behemoth slightly in in inconvenience. Venturing any further back in time might interfere with some of my own schemes and machination. We wouldn't want that now, would we? No, this instant is an ideal time for Anaris' elimination. Elimination being subject to interpretation. I'm speaking of total eradication, starting with Yonder Tower. That is where Nihilus' replacement bodies are cloned and grown. It is the key to the Bug King's bothersome longevity. No, I will not allow you to harm my babies. He's actually breaking free from his imprisonment. Per and paternal rage or narcissism. That matters not. I am really not in the mood for another battle with this maniac. A little assistance, please? Of course. And he's frozen in a block of pure will. And then he knocks um, Mephisto, you know, captures Mephisto. Give me no excuse, Blastar. This one knows when the game's up. You'll get no trouble for me. Adam, I know. The tower must be eliminated. Very well. Let it be no more. Gone! All the scientists and workers were in the tower. Are they safely transported to the streets just before the tower was destroyed? You know I would not have bothered. I am not you, Titan. Which is probably why I ended up the wielder of unlimited power and not you. I expect above all there is not a completely hands-off overseer. Perhaps I, I, I would most, I still most definitely slay this one. He is far too dangerous to chance allowing him continue life. In his present state, I would agree. But with my current abilities, Annihilus' station in life can be easily altered. As he shrunk down to a small 
insect being to which Thanos steps on. Oh my gosh. So Niles is now gone. And by fortune, because um, Mephisto has a very important um, place in the cosmic tapestry, he is sent back, but without a mouse. And <laughs> is now left in, char- left in charge of the negative zone. Did that all really just happen? And with that, I believe the universe is once again as above all others, and I would have it. Let us check on all concern before considering your business concluded. How do you propose doing that? By allowing you to gaze through my eyes. As he sees through everything, everything is fine and dandy. All the Avengers and everyone is still going on as normal back on Earth. Everything is back to the way it was. The Guardians having no idea what's been going on. And eventually they make it back to the planet where Thanos has stayed on. Also, hit the original Adam Warlock is brought back. All right, which one? All right, one last matter. The other Adam Warlock? Of course. What? As always, questioning. Now all truly is as it was. Fare thee well, Titan. Until we meet again, you who were once Adam Warlock. Wait, what happened here? Where is he going? I'll have to make good on a grand bargain and begin a new existence. You're not going to fill me on what happened in my absence, are you? Perhaps later. After I have had time to properly digest and contemplate the bizarre events we just survived. My last memories of me agreeing to let you slay me in order to save the universe from the nightmare my subconscious made of it. That did not go exactly as expected. I am certain you will catch up on what has occurred as you go along, but can't you add, leave it at this. This universe owes much to your other self from that doomed dimension, far more than it will ever realize. And I should return to the existence that is yours, beginning immediately. Thanos! Well, someone is clearly not in the mood for com- company presently. Your manners have never been tight in strong suit. Don't let the car cheek it away! Kill him! I can explain! Pip! Some things never change. Adam, you're alive again. <laughs> like, run for it. We didn't see um, Thanos going back to Lady Death. I return to you victorious, my love. Enemies have been stat- dispatched. Allies be rewarded. And balance righted. The universe stability and the st- sanctity of your dark realm are secure. What more could we ask for than to once again be at each other's side? Be that we never in need part again and be accursed anything that might bring about such a future uh, leaving taking. For my soul is truly and wholly yours, my dearest. I crave not but your icy embrace. I seek nothing but your regard smile. Woo! What is that, my love? You wish to know what became of the Adam Warlock from that parallel dimension? He is now taken over as the new living tribunal. Wow. Was the one above all's goal as ever since that first graphic novel? This is what it desired. It knew what was going to happen to the Living Tribunal dirt from the Beyonders, so it must it had to set up for a replacement. I like how it's different size. Like one is fully covered, one is fully not that, covered, and one is half covered. So what did you think? Oh, about I loved it. What did you think about this whole trilogy? Mm, it was it, it was overall good. Yep, and it made sense in the end, didn't it? Mm-hmm. That this Adam Warlock was meant for greater things and all that, and then it's just res- all resolved happily. So what would you rate this particular installment, first of all, compared to the other two? A minus. Well, where would you rank the whole trilogy? A minus. No, I mean, which installment is a, is ranked which compared to the others? Oh. Ah. Obviously, this one is an A-. minus. The one before... Relativity. Mm-hmm. I'll say that one was a B+, plus, and then the first, the first one? one was like a C-. minus. Really? You were loving that one, but I guess compared to these ones, it dropped down? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that was the end. And what about all, when you add in the entire story with also those other tie-in books? What'd you say this was a grand epic for Thanos? For me, it seems, for this book, it seemed like it was more on, like, Adam Warlock. True, but Thanos was still important to it all. 
Because only true because of death and stuff. Well, not just death, but also because he knew how the bargain was the one above all. You right. So yeah, well, after the and with this whole trilogy though, we do have one other trilogy to get through eventually. <laughs> but overall though, this was a great grand story. And don't worry, the next one is just three books, nothing more, no additional books. <laughs> but until then, we'll see you on the next one. See Take ya. Care.